Well, of course, I've been pretty distracted today, as you probably have been also, with Iran's uh, effort uh, starting an attack on uh, Israel. Uh, and with all that means and all that could imply, obviously, the implications are massive, could be existential for Israel, could be existential for Iran in return, could be existential for all of us. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, cooler heads will prevail at some point after some kind of uh, Iran promised a slap at Israel. So we'll see if they're going to give a slap and Israel will slap back and we'll see if that's the end of it or how this all plays out. Uh, the Bitcoins are already down uh, about 8% as a result of this. So expecting, uh, depending on where we sit on Monday morning, you might want to anticipate that the entire markets will be off somewhere on the order of 5 to 10%, maybe more. Um, if this is a continuing conflict and if things are not resolved, lots of people will be taking money off the table. Uh, really, uh, uh, potentially, not investment advice, potentially an opportunity to uh, buy in at bargain basement prices. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, I, I, I'm going to say this is, this is political, and I don't know any other way to say it, but uh, I, I just had a text from someone saying, I'm sure glad that Elon, that uh, uh, by, that uh, Trump was not elected because he might have gotten us involved in World War III, uh, and then a sarcasm after that. Um, I, I, I continue to to be surprised and shocked uh, that it is the uh, Democrat governments over the last many, many decades who have constantly gotten us into war, starting with Kennedy, who started the Vietnam War uh, with the initial troops that went into Vietnam, uh, followed up by, uh, uh, you know, President uh, uh, and JFK, who, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, forgot his name already. Well, LBJ, who uh, continued the war there. Um, yes, some would say, of course, obviously, that Bush was responsible for the Iranian, uh, I mean, the Iraq conflagration. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, he would certainly deserve credit for that. Um, but in, by and large, it's been democratic regimes getting us into war. And that's so weird, because that's the party that's a had been calling for peace all these years and claiming that the Republicans were the warmongering folks. Uh, so anyway, we now have a situation where over just three years in office, we've seen uh, President Biden not be able to stop, having a horrible disengagement from Afghanistan, not being able to stop the situation in, in uh, Ukraine, and not being able to stop the situation that's going on in Israel and now not being able to stop this. Um, I really, really wonder how anybody thinks that this is a uh, an, an administration that they want to continue to support going forward. Um, let me know in the comments below why it is that uh, Biden has not been able to stop these uh, international confl conflagrations. One idea might be, let me maybe you could respond to this. One idea might be that uh, because he doesn't speak to these people on a regular basis, he doesn't go over and visit them, doesn't get face to face. I know that this is uh, uh, something Lex, Lex Friedman likes to talk about. We need face to face. None of this on the phone, none of this on the YouTube on the uh, on, on Zoom. No, we need to get uh, in person in front of one another as as of course, Trump was doing during his entire administration with Kim and and with uh, Xi and, and all these guys, he was getting face to face with them and making sure that he could keep these things contained. Anyway, um, having said all that, let's take a look now at what Elon has said over the last 24 hours. First of all, he reposted this from Peter Diomedes. Um, He says, uh, we can't stop AI anymore. Our only path forward is to guide it. So there's a very pithy statement that I think we can all uh, pay a lot of attention to because uh, of all the existential threats outside of war, certainly I know Elon feels that AI is one of the big ones. Okay, then we have this, uh, Elon laughed out loud at this one, two tears of, of laughter coming out. He says, uh, this is from Aaron Sibarium, at Aaron Sibarium. Uh, on X, he says, uh, UCLA Medical School's psychiatry department hosted a talk this month that glorified self-immolation as a form of revolutionary suicide. Glorified it. 
<laughs> we have obtained a video of an audio of the talk, which argued taboos on self-immolation serve the interests of power. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. He used the nut emoji, not the laughing out loud emoji. I'm very sorry. He used the nut, the little peanut uh, uh, for that as the emoji of choice on that particular one. And I am just, this is UCLA, my alma mater, twice. I can't believe it. Anyway, Bill Maher had this to say. And if you want to, maybe maybe the choice would once again be uh, between nut and uh, and laughing out loud. But Elon did use laughing out loud for this one. Um, and uh, Bill Maher says, they say in politics, liberals are the gas pedal and conservatives are the brake. And I'm generally with the gas pedal, but not if we're driving off a cliff. <laughs> Did you get that? Now I'm generally with the gas pedal. He's definitely with the liberals, but not if they're driving off a cliff. Well, anyway, um, then we have this from uh, a a XAI, and Elon is reposting. We're hiring designers, engineers, product data, uh, infra, and AI tutors. Join us, and Elon uh, reposted that one. Then he also reposted this from SpaceX. Falcon 9 lands on a shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. Shortfall of Gravitas. Uh, Gravitas drone ship. Completing the first 20 launch and landing of a booster. So this booster, this particular booster has gone up and back 20 times. Amazing. All right. And uh, there was a commentary on that from SpaceX that said, since its first mission in November 2020, this single first stage has launched eight astronauts and more than 500 satellites, totaling 261 metric tons to orbit in under four years. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Elon also, so we, we're just going right around the block here with regard to other companies. He says, uh, Grok 1.5 Vision um, is coming and... Uh, XAI has eyeballs up looking, waiting for that new version coming. And of course, this is a version that is going to be able to read images, pictures and other kinds of images, charts and graphs. So that should be extremely interesting. Um, this is from Lud Milagrio. Ludmilo Linz Grillo is the whole full, the whole name, but on X it's L U D M I L A G R I L O. If you want to find them, all right. Five years ago, I was the first and only act. This is about Brazil. I was the first and only active judge in Brazil to denounce the abuses of the Brazilian Supreme Court. It was clear what would happen if Alexandre de Moraes continued in this position. So I decided to put my job and my livelihood at risk to warn the rest of the judiciary. They not only ignored me, but they also persecuted me, subjected me to mor moral harassment, assassinated my reputation with malice, and removed me from my position. Alexandre blocked all my social media accounts a year and a half ago without any charges. I sought asylum in the USA, where I live today. After learning of my exile, exile Alexandre blocked my bank account and my passport. I'm accused of being a friend of Alan D, D, uh, Al, Alan D. Santos. Alan I. D. Santos. Uh, Alan I. Anyway, that's how it is on Twitter. A-L-L-A-N-I-D Santos. All right. He's, uh, Elon says the Brazilian judiciary as a whole is complicit with Alexander de Mores, either by action or by omission and cowardice. And Elon Musk, I'm sorry, I think that might have been a continuation. Oh, no, that was his response. And then Elon Musk says, thank you for making public to the world what I've been trying to expose since 2019. Uh, and uh, Elon responds to the entire thread. Wow. Okay. So that's what we have today from Elon Musk. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think about any of the commentary from Elon, from others, uh, other uh, the ongoing uh, thing that we're doing here with regard to whatever Elon Musk tweets. So for some of you, you've said, well, you, you could be more selective. You don't have to put every single tweet up. No, that's what I'm doing. Every single tweet, uh, if, it, if it's an advertisement, if it's just promoting one of his companies, uh, if it is something I don't agree with, I don't, it doesn't matter. I can agree, disagree. I'm putting everything up. That's the nature of what we're trying to do on this particular one. Oh, and some people are asking, how come I don't show the tweets or tweets, I'm sorry, why I don't show the posts at the same time that I'm reading them. And the reason for that is I am not very good at arts and crafts. And in order to put them up in a way that would look attractive, 
Um, that would require time and energy, which I don't have either one of right now in terms of my staffing. So for now, at least, you're going to have to just go with me reading them. By the way, others have been glad for that. They said, look, I'm listening to this. I'm so glad that uh, you're not putting up stuff that I need to also see because I, I uh, is positive for me to be able to just listen to what Elon has been putting up on X. So let me know again what you're thinking about this. Uh, so far, the response has been pretty good in terms of the numbers. Thank you very much for doing this. And uh, it, watching them is, is great. That's a big help to the channel. Liking is even better. Subscribing is amazing. <laughs> hitting notify because we got one more show today somewhere around four or five o'clock california time we will do a news show for uh for uh you know everything every, all the news related to tesla today and finances and financial and and uh what's happening uh like you know the things that are happening now with the with the war as it affects economics i made a little political comment here a little more appropriate maybe on the elon musk x a uh, thing that I do to talk about the politics a little more. But anyway, um, let me know. Uh, and then also join Patreon. That'd be absolutely incredible and amazing. That's all I got for you right now. It's been great talking to you.